Orsa Army serviceman Haik Kalantarian was killed on Wednesday afternoon from a shot fired from the Azerbaijani side. The 20-year-old soldier was fatally wounded at the protection area of an Artsakh Defense Army military unit. Armenia has recorded a 7.7% economic growth, which is the highest indicator in the region and the post-Soviet area, Armenian Prime Minister Garen Garabetian told reporters. At the same time, Armenia recorded a 2.6% inflation, which is the lowest indicator in the region. Armenian President Ser Sarkisyan on Wednesday welcomed the FIFA World Cup trophy during an official ceremony in capital city Yerevan. President Sarkisyan received the World Cup trophy from Christian Karambeu, a 1998 FIFA World Cup champion from the France national team. Armenia is among the 24 countries where the trophy is introduced for the first time. Russia's leading long-distance telephony provider Ros Telecom is considering the possibility of selling a GNC Alpha, its affiliate in Armenia, said the head of Ros Telecom, Mikhail Oseyevsky. GNC Alpha, the largest independent internet and data provider in Armenia, has sold 75% minus one share to Ros Telecom in 2012 for $22.5 million. Internet pioneer, co-founder of Visionary Internet, John Perry Barlow, has died at the age of 70. In 1990, Barlow was co-founder of Electronic Frontier Foundation, which protects the rights of users of electronic communication. Three Armenian athletes will participate in the Winter Olympic Games that will kick off Friday in Pyeongchang, South Korea. Armenia will be represented at this event by cross-country skiers Mikhail Mikhailian and Katya Galstian and alpine skier Ashot Garabetian.